What's up y'all? My name is Jeffrey Morgan and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to make money on eBay. Just a quick basics guide to selling on eBay from buying it, listing it, selling it, to shipping it. If you've never done it before, I hope this video will give you a good idea of uh, really how simple it is. Once you get the basics down and you learn everything, it's just repetition. It's the same thing over and over again. And um, We're really just going to go over one little item. I got a quick example for you today of me buying it at the thrift store, showing you how much I paid for it, and then how I listed it, took how I take my pictures. Um, and then once it sells, how you ship it and also give you, you know, show you how much money we make. And yeah, that's really it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so when you're doing your sourcing at the thrift shop, you need to keep in mind budget and not letting yourself get overwhelmed. Come in with a bolo list, you know, be on the lookout for certain brands. And like say if you're looking for clothing, give yourself a top 10 list of the brands that you've already done the research and you know are going to sell quick. And once you find a good item like this Wrangler 20X women's button snap shirt like I did, um, as you can see the pink tags were 75% off so I only paid $1.12 for this. But you go, you're going to want to get your phone out and go to the eBay app and double check and make sure you're going to get a good price for this. So I didn't get to do it in the store so I figured I'd show you now. You need to download the eBay app. That way you can search, do research on your um, items that you're looking up. So I'm going to put in, first I'm going to start off with women's, Wrangler, 20X, button, shirt. And let's see what we get. Now, this is very, very important. First thing you need to do after you typed in what you're searching for is click filter. And some people click the sold items, but I like to click completed items because it's going to show me the sold items and the items that have not sold. And as you can see, the ones in green, these are items that sold. The ones in red did not sell. So right off the bat, we're getting some, you know, some idea of what it's worth. Here's a women's 20X XL long sleeve plaid shirt. Sold for $12 plus $4.95 shipping. Here's a 20X cowgirl shirt. Sold for $11.40 free shipping. This one they were asking $23 plus $4.89 shipping and it did not sell. Here's one, 16. That's that's pretty good. They got you know $22 for their shirt 17 plus free shipping from the, from looking at this the first couple that you know out of the first five four out of five sold I'm thinking this is a good item to pick up and not only that these items are kind of plain they're plain compared to mine mine's got butterfly design on it as well as some embellished um, gems on it I'm not sure what you call them. Don't get me lying. And once you get all checked out at the thrift store, you can take it, take the item home and uh, set up your studio to take pictures. I use a piece of panel that I bought at Home Depot that I um, stained with an ebony stain. It's just a simple wall paneling. It's real cheap. Um, I'll probably end up making a video on how to build this because I find it to be, it, it gives good contrast to when you're doing clothes, the dark wood. Then you want to take your shirt and lay it out flat and put it in the folded whatever in position you like to take your photos. I like to lay my clothing as if it would be how it would lay on your body, you know. Try to make it look like as if that's how it would look as it sits on your body. And the first thing you're going to want to do is put your custom label to the item. Um, this lets me know where my item is um, without having to look for the actual shirt. I can just look for this number in my inventory system. Once you get done taking your photos, you just shove everything back in the corner. And now we can take a look at creating your listing. So first thing to start with your listing is the title. And the title has a lot to do with the SEO, the search engine optimization. So you really want to just try different things, learn from others, do what others are doing. Um, when I say that, look at other listings like what you're trying to find, a shirt like this, and take from others. How did they word their title? It, did it start with the brand or the size or the gender? 
And the way I've got my title laid out right now is gets the best search results for me. So I'm going to stick to it. Next is your custom label. That's where you'll put the number that's on your clothespin. And then after that, you want to make sure you're putting it in the right category. You can search women's shirts, and I chose women's clothing tops. Then after that, you if you have an eBay store like me, then um, you put it in the right store category. Then you have the UPC, does not apply. Condition, pre-owned, I usually put in the condition description, good pre-owned condition. It's kind of the same thing for everything. Here's where you add your shirts. Also, if I didn't mention before, when you're taking your pictures, you want to use like a yardstick and take photos of the true measurements, um, the actual measurements of the shirt. So since the, since the person can't try on the item in person, it's really going to help the sale for you to put what the true measurements are. And next you'll come down to the item specifics. This is where you put in the brand the size type, um, women's size, the style, the material. This also has a lot to do with the search engine optimization. They say the more you put in the specifics, the better chances you are of getting to the top of the list in search ranks. Um, but I, I usually keep it simple. It's always the same thing, cut and dry. So there's a lot that I leave blank at the, at the bottom of this. Now moving on to the description, I keep it really short and simple. The shirt is in good pre-owned condition. Please look at all pictures and ask any questions and thanks for looking. I also like to use the bulletin points and if there is something wrong with the shirt or, some, or the item I'll put, it shows some signs of wear, see photos. Nothing, you know, I, I try to keep it as short as possible. The photos are what's really going to make the sale for your item. Um, if you put in the photos any defects on the item, the person, the buyer is going to look at the photos last to make their decision. So, really, you know, keep your description short and simple. Moving down to the seller details, the format, we're going to go fixed price, um, duration, good till canceled, start my listing when I submit them, buy it now, $24.77. And then this is a good big part of it um, allow your buyers to make a best offer a lot of my sales come from best offers so quantity one you also got a couple other check boxes there I usually skip most of them make sure you put in your PayPal email address this is how you get paid you can add additional checkout instructions and also don't forget to add your sales tax next is return options I do domestic returns up to 30 days buyer pay shipping and next is the shipping um, there are a lot of different shipping options that can be a little overwhelming I'll probably make another video on it but for the shirt it's very simple we're gonna go first class because it's 16 ounces or less um, my handling time we do one business day and that has a lot to do too with someone choosing your item over someone else's how quick can they get their items? So then you have international shipping. I do ship internationally. Now when you get to package weight and dimensions, um, I don't have to put in the dimensions because it's first class and the weight is one pound or less. And when I'm making the listings, I don't really, I don't weigh it out. I just wait until I'm shipping it. I can usually guesstimate how much it's gonna cost to ship. And they've also added some of these promotion tools in the bottom of a listing. This is kind of new. And so I'm going to go ahead and add this listing to my promoted listings. I'm going to add it. I'm going to set the ad rate at 5% and I'm going to select a campaign. And this is one of my campaigns. What that's going to do is if there's eBay's going to run, eBay's going to put my listing and some ads like on other social media platforms like YouTube, Facebook, stuff like that. And if someone clicks that ad and buys my product then eBay will get 5% but if my product if my item sells through my store regularly without going through the ad then they don't get their 5% it's not just the once you sign it up for the promoter listing eBay is guaranteed to get that 5% that's not how that works There's also some other promotional tools right there close by or you can just go ahead and list the item and I'm gonna cancel because I've already listed the item and then once you're done with your listing you want to double check all the spelling, make sure all the pictures were uploaded, make sure your price is right, you know, double check your listing and make sure everything's right. And alright, 
so after your listing is live, all we really need to do is uh, just wait. I know y'all heard that. I think we sold something. Oh, and we sold the shirt just like that for twenty dollars. Yep, that's right. We took a best offer of twenty dollars. So now that it's time to ship the item, we're gonna take it out of the Ziploc bag that I keep it stored in with the custom label on it, and we're gonna pick the right poly bag for the right size. We also need our scale. And if you have one, add a thank you card. So we're gonna place everything on our scale and it comes out to six ounces even, but you need to add for the label, which is about two to four ounces. So we're gonna go with seven ounces. Now back on the computer, we're gonna print the shipping label. We're using United States Postal Service. We're gonna go first class. And the weight is seven ounces. So that's gonna put us at $3.05. Um, no additional options needed. We're mailing the mailing data is today and we're going to purchase the postage. And now with our label printed out, we're going to stamp the label to the poly mailer. Um, I do it sideways near the bottom so it leaves a lot of room for when I close the bag. We're going to tuck the thank you card in the shirt, kind of taco the shirt into the bag and then make sure you get the shirt back flat pull off the little tab turn the flap of the bag over and seal it up I just want to take a minute to show you I got this cool eBay uh, seller profit calculator app not sponsored by them or anything this is just awesome to have when you're sourcing and it, it lets you know down to the dollar how much profit you're making so if you choose the category where clothings and all other categories it's fixed price 30 days are good till canceled um, I paid a dollar twelve for that shirt for this shirt and it cost me three dollars and five cents to ship it um, the final sale price was twenty dollars flat the buyer did not pay for shipping yes I'm top rated yes I have an eBay store zero dollars insertion fee my PayPal fees are at an average of about four percent right now so we'll put 3.9 and then we calculate it and there you go I made a total total profit of thirteen dollars and thirty one cents off of this one shirt I mean that's you can't beat that you do that 10 times a day, that's $130. Do that 20 times a day, that's $260. So, pretty cool. And that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. I hope that was enough to kind of give you an idea of what it's like to go source something. You know, everything from buying it to listing it to selling it to shipping it. I hope that gave you enough that you needed to know to get out there and try it yourself. Because um, it's pretty fun to do. It's a good way to make some side money. Um, it's a good full-time job if anybody's looking to, I mean, it takes a lot of work and you got to build up that inventory to get to that point. But um, once again, if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. Also, if you learned something today, leave a comment. Uh, if I left something out, leave a comment. Any feedback is um, welcome. And um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope to make some more and uh, maybe you'll come back to the channel and watch some more videos. So. See you then.